Meanwhile, the outdoor dining ban is already active in most of LA County. Still, one restaurant is to find that ban. NBC 4's Michelle Vice live in Redondo Beach at Eda Joe's, where today's special Michelle is what? Taking a little dig at Governor Newsom, right? Uh, there you, you saw the sign, right? The French Laundry. We're going to explain that coming up. This is Eat at Joe's, a diner, been around 51 years, defying the LA County orders. You could see right here, it is full outside. And what you don't see is there's another outdoor uh, tent here where it is full people supporting this move. Here's the customers. I think the, this whole thing is a travesty. It's killing, killing the small business, the re small restaurant. It's killing the employees. They have no other way to, to make income. There's no stimulus. Uh, there's no uh, relief from California on restaurants. So the whole thing is just crazy. We're all keeping our social distancing. It's like waiting in line to get to go order. It's the same difference. Alex Jordan, the owner here of Eat at Joe's, thank you for joining us. What's this really all about? Well, it's it's mostly about keeping my employees employed during this tough time of the year. There's no there's no other aid for them, so we want them to be able to earn a living and get through Christmas. And I also feel like it's somewhat unfair. I mean, protocols set out by the Department, the County Board of Health, 10 pages, what to do. This was about issued about six months ago. Recently, they sent out another one, an update with all kinds of rules and regulations. We followed them. We have been really good about how our employees are taking care of personal hygiene, testing their, taking their temperature every day, making sure they're healthy, keeping social distancing, all that stuff. And they keep moving the, the goal line further and further back it's until they just close us. And, but what happens if the health department say, comes down and, and shuts you guys down? Won't you be worse off than... than... Well, I don't know. I, I won't be any worse off than I would be if I just never stayed open. So, you know, we'll stay open as long as we can, and we'll see what the health department has to say, and hopefully they'll come to a realization that this is a good idea. We've seen a lot of support here. Let's take a look at that sign. That's the oh, French yeah. Laundry. A uh, little dig, dig there, Governor Gavin Newsom. Absolutely. I was totally hypocritical. I mean, him going out and having dinner at an expensive restaurant in Napa just set me on edge. And so I decided to put that up because I figure if it's good enough for Gavin Newsom, it's good enough for all of my clients. All right. my that, thank you so much. That's Alex Jordan, the owner at Eat It. Joe's here in Redondo Beach defying those L.A. County orders, staying open. Uh, despite being told to, to close those outdoor patios. So that is the latest. As for the governor, he did apologize, calling it a bad mistake. Live in Redondo Beach this morning, Michelle Vias, NBC4 News. Michael, back to you. Hey, Michelle, what's the reaction so far to this uh, place staying open? And it makes you wonder if other restaurant owners will follow Alex's lead and keep outdoor dining an option here. <laughs> Greg, great question. We're waiting for that too. Across the street, they're closed. In fact, in this whole radius, and he says, I don't know if other businesses are going to join me. He's a lone wolf right now, but I got to tell you, you know, look at it, it's full. A lot of people, like I said, honking the horns, saying good for, you know, eat at Joe's. There are a few people say, I'm not going to join you till 2021. But here, from what we've seen, honestly, a lot of support. All a right, lot Michelle. of support to stay open during these tough times. Back to All you. Right. Michelle, appreciate it. Thank you.